Hey there guys, gals, and non-binary pals, it's Gormizer here to help make a man out of your play as we talk about Mulan, the Ascendant Warrior. A lot of people know a variety of tales regarding Mulan and would recognize her as a legendary warrior, and that's exactly the role she takes in Smite as well. As a warrior, there are many ways for her to flex into roles like jungle or support, but most people are going to be running Mulan where her power can truly shine, and that's the solo lane. Mulan brings an interesting kit into Smite because her abilities ascend as you progress through the game. The damage you do to enemies evolves your abilities, which will help you provide more damage for your team, some healing for yourself, and utility that you can use to either engage or disengage by using your grapple. Mulan is bringing an arsenal of weaponry with her into the battlefield. Each one of her abilities plays off of one or more of her weapons, showcasing her prowess in warfare. As mentioned before, her abilities level as you do damage to enemy gods and minions, which brings us to her passive, Training Arc. Like all good stories, Mulan's training arc allows her to master these weapons throughout the game, adding to her abilities as she rises from a skilled fighter to a legendary warrior. Mulan's first ability is Cross Strike. Mulan swings her sword with precision, swinging twice in arcs that overlap in front of her. On the first ascension of this ability, Mulan gains an attack speed buff after using Cross Strike. Once you've ascended this ability a second time, Mulan now strikes a third time in a cone in front of her. And finally, as you master this ability, Mulan simply gains an attack speed buff for the duration of the game. This ability is fluid in the middle of a team fight, allowing you to hit enemies multiple times and swipe at them even if they aren't directly in front of you. In conjunction with her other abilities, Cross Strike allows Mulan to take down her enemies with ease. Mulan's second ability, Spear Thrust, gives her the clear she needs to hold up to other warriors in the solo lane. Starting as a simple box in front of her, Spear Thrust evolves to become one of Mulan's best abilities. At base level, you'll damage enemies in front of you and apply a slow to all that are hit. At Ascension 1, Mulan will begin to heal for the enemies that she hits. This heal scales off your power, which as you progress into the late game gives you the sustain you need to be a secondary frontliner for your team. Once you are adept at Spear Thrust, you gain a second strike that reaches further than the initial hit. This second hit also deals bonus damage to any enemies that you hit with both strikes. And when you finally master this ability, you gain a permanent power buff, letting you showcase your warrior prowess and hit harder, not just with Spear Thrust, but with your entire arsenal of abilities. As a great warrior, Mulan has mastered more than just these melee weapons, though. Her spear and her sword are, are one thing, but her third and final weapon, and her third and final ability, are based around her bow. For grapple, Mulan fires an arrow with a rope attached to it, pulling her enemy and herself together and allowing Mulan to deal an extra blow to her enemy while they are grappled. As an incredible setup tool for Mulan, this ability allows you to pick off those pesky mages or hunters that sit in the back line by pulling them into the fray with you. After you hit the first threshold, Mulan will gain a protection buff after hitting an enemy god. Now that makes diving into the backline even easier, but what if you need to make an escape? Well, that's where the second ascension comes in. Mulan will gain the ability to target walls with grapple and actually pull herself to them. To top it off, after you master this ability, you gain a permanent movement speed buff. So whether it's to chase enemies down or to get away, grapple is one of her most useful, yet difficult, abilities. Finally, we have Mulan's ultimate, Divine Mastery. Mulan has showcased so far her ability to use a wide variety of weaponry, but Divine Mastery brings the entire arsenal forth. Mulan dashes forward with sword slashes, dealing damage and rooting enemies that she hits. And if she connects with an enemy, Mulan will then channel her new divine energy to knock up enemies in a wide area with her spear before firing a large arrow with her bow. Not only is it a flurry of blows with multiple weapons, but Mulan also gains skill towards her abilities based on which weapons she successfully lands those attacks with. If she hits with the sword, then it goes towards cross strike, the spear goes towards spear thrust, and the bow goes towards grapple. Mulan's experience in fighting also allows her to roll with the punches she receives during her ultimate, and she gains protections for the duration of Divine Mastery. As a legendary warrior, Mulan brings a lot to the table. Her wide variety of tools allow her to dominate other warriors in lane and transition into this late game behemoth. As you start out in the game, you'll want to start with Spear Thrust to enable your clear. After that, Cross Strike helps add damage into the mix, allowing you to either clear the wave faster or focus even more damage into your lane opponent. 
Then, you'll want to add a second point into Spear Thrust, pop a point into Grapple for some extra boxing potential, and then at level 5, finally grab Divine Mastery to open up your full arsenal. After that, you'll want to focus on leveling Divine Mastery whenever possible, and then in order, Spear Thrust, Cross Strike, and finally Grapple. As a warrior, Mulan has access to a lot of items in Smite that will allow her to be aggressive in the fight and still make it out with her life. There are items like the Sledge that will give you health, mana, power, and protections based on how many enemies surround you. If you want to focus on a more damage-oriented approach though, Heartseeker and Soul Eater will make each of your abilities pack a punch, either by hitting harder with Heartseeker or helpfully healing you with Soul Eater. For more defensive play, Genji's Guard and Breastplate of Valor can give you much needed protections while also providing some nifty cooldown reduction to help you get more abilities out in the fight. As a warrior though, Mulan can also access some hybrid items that give a little bit of both worlds. Items like Runic Shield or Void Shield can give you some helpful protections while also providing you with power in lane to keep the fight going. Early on in the game, your focus on Mulan will be similar to other gods. Get Farm. Mulan's strength is in her wide variety of abilities and weapons, and so the faster you can level, the better off you'll be. Don't be afraid to box early on, though. Even though you might not have every weapon at the ready, Mulan is still a skilled warrior, and you'll be able to master your abilities faster through damaging your lane opponent with poke early on. After a few minutes in lane, though, you'll start to see junglers looking for ganks on your lane. Be wary of the enemy getting too aggressive, as it could telegraph them having help on the way. With that though, you must always be ready for your own jungler to come over and help put your lane opponent into the dirt. As the game continues, you want to look at rotating over to team fights and more specifically, harassing the enemy backline in those fights. Mulan's grapple can let you grab onto the enemy's carries and pull them out of their comfort zone. Then, cross strike and spear thrust will give you the damage and healing to follow up in the fight and keep them zoned out for your team. If things get too heated in the fight, remember you can always grapple to walls after you master it, or use Divine Mastery to dash straight through the enemies, knock them up, and then make your great escape. At the end of the day, Mulan is a legendary warrior for a reason. Her wide variety of weapons and abilities make her an incredibly unique warrior in Smite. So now go out and make your own legends with Mulan, and we'll see you on the battlegrounds.